Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by for another video and uh, hope everybody's doing well today. So I hadn't had a lot of time in the shop lately, been kind of busy, uh, but I wanted to get a video out and I had one stuck back on how to create a tabbed box in Lightbird. Uh, but note that I didn't make any kerf adjustment and if you know what the kerf is on your machine, you can just reduce the size of the slot to get a tighter fit. Uh, but if you follow these instructions, you'll be able to make a box. So I hope you enjoy watching, and I hope it's helpful. Thank you. Hey, folks. Dave here. Uh, we're going to make a slotted box using light burn tools. I know there's a, there's a lot of uh, box makers online that you could use for this, uh, but it's a pretty good skill to learn how to do it yourself, and then those, that skill will help you later on with some more advanced projects. So go up to the top left and click the box. Come out to the canvas, click your left mouse, and drag out a box. Uh, we're just going to make this 100 millimeter square. Don't forget to click your arrow, and then click off, and you'll get your box. Uh, so we're going to make some sides for it. And we're just going to make that, we're using 3 millimeter plywood, so this needs to be 3 millimeter shy of this. So we're going to go 97 millimeters by 20. Okay, uh, remember you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel, you can push down on the mouse wheel and move the whole canvas around. So now we want to set up some slots and tabs. And I make mistakes like that all the time, so just remember to use Control Z to, uh, to back yourself up. So grab another box up top. Just draw one out. We're just going to make it 10 by 3. 10 millimeters by three millimeters and then select it and notice that when you get close to when your cursor gets close to the line it changes on the line it changes to another line on the corner it changes to a crosshair so if you were going all the way to the corner with it just grab that crosshair and it snaps uh, in place but if you get the, the uh, side, it'll snap also. So you need these to snap in place. Uh, so now we can go over to the left here to the array. And uh, looks like these settings will be good because we've got a 10 millimeter tab. And there will be 10 millimeter spacing between it. So here at the X columns is where you change the number of tabs. So we can go with four tabs and that works fine. So now we need to um, group these together. And then we need to do some vertical alignment. So we want the tabs to move and not the box. So select the tabs first, then push down the shift key, select the box, go up top to vertical alignment, click that and your tabs will move. So now we're gonna copy these tabs, right click and duplicate. We want some on the bottom, duplicate again, Drag it out, go up top to a range, and rotate. Go to that one, duplicate again, and bring it over here. Okay, so now, just grab, you can grab any one of them, but the one at the bottom, we'll start with that one. Grab that edge again, get it to the side, and let it snap into place. Then we need to select it again first, shift, select the box, 
go to vertical alignment and they will shift where they need to be. So now we can do these side ones. Same thing, grab the edge, let it snap, select it, I think I threw it off, control Z to back up. Okay, so now we can select, shift, select the box, go to horizontal alignment this time, and they'll shift. Grab this other set, drag it over here, and do the same thing. Snap, shift, select, horizontal alignment. Okay, all those are good. Now we want to copy one of these. We duplicate it and put it off to the side. We'll make a couple of them for good measure. So now we want to group all of these together because we're using the weld tools over here on the left and that's dealing with two objects so we got to turn these tabs which are actually slots pull from the right side get a green line and touch all the tabs together and then right click and group and we're going to use the subtraction tool right here so to subtract we want to subtract out part of the box so we have to select the box first then shift then select the tabs and we can go over right here to the subtraction tool click and there is the bottom of our box and one of them didn't work we're going to find out why so we're going to ungroup for a minute I told you I make mistakes all the time but we're going to fix it right click group apparently I didn't touch that wall good enough but that's okay we're going to fix it Maybe that done it. Select the tabs, the slots, then the box, then go to vertical alignment. That's good. Now select the box to subtract, shift, and then the tab, and let's try it again. Okay, there we go. So it's okay to make mistakes as long as we fix them. Okay, so now we have this top piece. It is 97, but to make these slots match up, we have to account for the whole 100 millimeters. And to do that, we're going to take one of these. We're going to ungroup it. We're going to grab a single tab, put it over here on the end. And we've got to line it up, so we're going to click the tab, shift, click the box, and then we're going to click horizontal alignment. I guess it must have been pretty close already. Okay, so now in on this tab, we're going to use the weld function. On the other end, we'll use the subtract function. So click the the tab, shift, click the whole box, and then go up top here and click weld. Okay, so that one's good. So now we need to get one on the other side. Same way, you want to snap to the edge, then you want to select it, shift, select the whole thing and then we want to go to horizontal alignment and it'll move for us okay this time we're subtracting material away so we have to select the material we want to subtract first which is from the whole piece uh, and then shift select the slot go here to the subtraction tool and click subtract 
Okay, now we need some tabs on here. So we'll dump these first, these leftovers here. We can delete those so I don't confuse myself. We'll grab this one and then go up to Arrange. Click Rotate. We'll come over here. And we just want to snap this up to it. We want them to move, so we select them first. Shift. Hold box. And we will go to vertical alignment. Okay. So now, this time we're using weld again because we want to keep the tabs out. So we click the tabs. Shift. Click the box. Go over here and hit weld. And there we go. So now we are basically done. So what we would do now is just duplicate this one. Duplicate and just get us four of them out. Okay, so we need to rotate these. Uh oh. Control Z. Select it, go to arrange, go to rotate, and if you don't rotate it the correct way, uh, just do it again. And just keep rotating it until you get it to the right spot. Okay, that's what we need. Okay, so that one's good. And you can snap these in place and then have them cut a single line if you like. Uh, let's see if we can get this one rotated correctly. There we go. We're good. This one we got to rotate a couple of times. Let's go flip. Flip. Okay, so you can, uh, it's ready to cut out now, and if you wanted to put a top on it, it would be the same, same methodology, same techniques, uh, but this will, this will cut out just like this, and go together, and you can, uh, of course, make these longer, make them bigger, whatever you want to do. But that is the skill you need to be able to do that without going to one of the box makers. So, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. Please check back often for new videos. And we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.